Rehearsals are well underway for Eden Troop's production of Henry V, which opens April 9th. The historical Shakespeare drama centers on a young prince growing into a great king, played by sophomore Creighton Deems. Throughout the play, King Henry V, there's a huge change for him. At the beginning, he's very inexperienced. He's kind of thrown into, he's put into this position, um, which initially changes him a whole lot before the play begins. And then as it progresses, um, as the play goes on, he changes to be really relying on the people around him is what I'm trying to get at, uh, to becoming more of his own man, becoming his, becoming a strong king, a king who people around him are able to follow, and more than that, who love him as a king. One of the play's climactic scenes is the Battle of Agincourt, which Eden Troop plans to portray with live stage combat between more than 20 cast members. So rehearsal started the first we were, week we were back. Stage choreography started about a week and a half later. Um, for that, we had all the guys gather in here in Town Hall. We had Joel Grew, who was great. He drove through the snow, brought along all these prop swords that we've been using just for practice before we actually deal with using real actual metal weapons. Um, we gave them a basic orientation that day. We gave them an orientation on basic stage combat moves, also stage combat safety. I, I have uh, three brothers and throughout my entire childhood I've been sword fighting with them with sticks and like really beating each other up which has been very fun in, in, in a loving manner, brotherly loving manner. Um, but being able to take that and put it on stage in some, some degree in, in a more orderly manner perhaps is really fun. I'm scared though because we are going to have real swords and I'm just it's fun to do it with the like the stage swords right now, um, or the practice blades. But I love it. I love that kind of. I love sword play. So, what are some of the logistical difficulties with pulling this off? Well, the big one is obviously lack of space. Um, we definitely have a big vision for the battle itself. We have a very immersive sort of approach to how we want to do the battle, very much where the audience is right next to the combat. But at the same time, we don't want to, you know, obviously hurt anyone. We've been doing a good job, before that scares anyone, at actually figuring out how we can remove seats to make that work. But from a logistics standpoint, it's just trying to find that good balance between we want an immersive Shakespearean experience, but at the same time, we need to make sure that we have enough space and that we have enough seats in the in town hall itself to have a good show. Ian Troop plans to produce a full-length trailer that will be broadcast in Chapel closer to production. The show will run April 9th, 10th, and 11th. When going into auditions, I was really excited about acting. Coming out of it, I was really hoping that I could get a part so I could be part of the cast and crew because everyone there, both on the auditions team and the other people who are auditioning with me, were fantastic. Each department knows what it's doing, but at the same time, uh, it's nice to see everyone working together. For example, for the props, we had a props party several times uh, where we went to someone's house and actually spent a time of fellowship where we had fun, but we also spent that time actually building props for the play. And I mean, things can be stressful. Things can definitely be very ambivalent at times. How are we going to get this done? How are we going to get that done? But the big mes message just to the cast, the crew, and the audience is everyone just to have fun. And the story is only so much. Uh, it's only worth so much as the people who are willing to invest what they will and how much they care for the story when they go to tell it. Right. Uh, we have everyone. That was a rush. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs>